if you can navigate the world with a strong, unwavering masculine frame, that means that, that you can be comfortably you, fully expressive in everything that you are, feeling masculine while doing it in any circumstance in life. So I would strongly advise you to watch the video until the end. What's up, man? Welcome back to the Masking Interaction. It's always great to see you, man. I'm happy you're part of this movement. You add so much energy to this community without wasting your time. Let's set up your masculine frame. Your masculine energy lives inside a space and can only be expressed from a certain place. And that place is your masculine frame. I would like you to imagine that there is a square box around you. As you move through life, as you're walking down the streets, certain things around you will affect you, will trigger you to step out of your masculine frame. For example, somebody in the supermarket starts shouting at you. You are there challenged to step out of your frame and get into a shouting match. Go to a place where you hold no power, to a place where you are not in control, where you are not grounded, where you do not feel good. Imagine that this square box around you is the personal space that every man has in which your masculine energy flows and only from that place can be expressed powerfully. So as long as you are in that masculine frame, you can express anything you want and feel masculine doing it. This is where I completely disagree with all these rule sets and tips and tricks on what it is to be a man, that you cannot be vulnerable, cannot do this, cannot say that. As long as you are in your masculine frame, you can express whatever you want and be masculine doing it. It's either something or it is someone who persuades you to step out of your frame. Once you do, you lose your power, you feel uncomfortable, you feel misaligned with yourself because now you are over here and your masculine frame is over there. So how can you know what you need? How can you know what you want? This brings us to a very clear example of someone who's a people pleaser or Mr. Nice Guy will live in other people's frames. Because here, this person can find out what it is that they need and they want. So you're constantly wondering, what does this person want or need from me? And then you're simply giving it. But while you're living in that other person's frame, your frame is over there. You have no idea what your body needs, what you need, what you want, right? What your desires are. And so you're depleting yourself. You're depleting your energy. So holding a masculine frame isn't about what all these videos are saying to look powerful to be in control to have no one take your control away sure these things are side effects but the main point is you're not loving yourself you're not you're not taking care of yourself so the more time you spend outside of your frame the worse you will feel the more anxious you will feel and the more you will deplete yourself. Primarily we do it because we take care of ourselves and we want to express ourselves fearlessly. As a result, you will have more power. As a result, you will be more dominant as you simply have mastered to stay in your frame. Hey, just quick, we're building a community here of future masculine role models. The world needs masculine leaders right now. So if you're the type of man that's gonna fill that spot, subscribe to the channel and join this movement. So if the challenge lies outside of you, outside of that square box, in relationships, in interactions with women, interactions with other men, negative events that happen in your life, all of it has the power to trigger you for you to step outside of your masculine frame. So of course you want to stay inside your masculine frame where you feel comfortable in flow, where you feel expressive, right? All these things. So how do we set that up? First part, very simple it's the exterior of your frame your breath needs to be low in your body it needs to be in your stomach so that you can push out the air that your voice is lower that you speak in a more controlled pace that you're not speaking ahead of yourself all these things make sure that your breath is nice and low in your stomach make sure that your shoulders are back and down if you want to fix your shoulder posture very simply move them in a circle backwards and then down and keep them there and then of course you want to face the world at eye level as you walk down the streets always make sure your chin is up you look people in the eye you're facing the world in the moment very simple you're speaking correctly your posture is good breathing correctly there's awareness in your body you're facing the world at eye level and again primarily this is about feeling good rather than looking good 
your physiology is affected by how you carry yourself. It's just a secondary benefit that you will also look more confident, powerful. So your exterior frame is set up. Now you are ready to head into the world. And then of course, the only question that is left is how do you hold that frame? There's two parts to it. How do you get into the mindset of staying in your frame? Secondly, how do you get back into your frame? once you've noticed that you've stepped out of your frame. The main way in which you will stay in your masculine frame, in that square box, feeling as if you can express anything, feeling comfortable, feeling powerful, is through detachment. So first of all, detaching from the idea that you need to have a frame, to look good, to, to look comfortable, fuck all that shit. Over here on this channel, we don't care about how things look for the outside world. We want to change this authentically, inside out. So detachment is what it comes down to. It is precisely your attachment to other people and other things around you that will get you easily out of your frame. Attachment to the outcome of that event, of that presentation, of that launch of your business, that video you just posted, of that kickboxing sparring session. It is the very attachment to everything and everyone around you. And beginning to detach yourself goes like this. If we carry on with the example of the square box, right? You walk in a networking event and you feel like an imposter, like you are at the lowest level of all the people in that room. It is the attachment to your ego here that will get you overthinking in your head, observing other people, and slowly you leave your masculine frame over there in the corner, depleting yourself. It is understanding in that room that there is space between you and everybody around you. You can focus on your hands, on your breath, that these people have their own insecurities, their own things, that they're probably looking at their phone, typing random numbers in their calculator to act busy. It is understanding, it is understanding that none of these people, none of these things around you control you or that they are even attached to you. You move individually. You can feel the actual space between other people and you. You can be close and loving to other people without being controlled by them. Feeling like you being here is just playtime, that there is no weight, that there is no heaviness, that nothing needs to happen, that you expect nothing from anything and that you can do whatever the fuck you want in absolute freedom as long as you stay in your frame. Even though you are more detached, you find yourself in a situation where you have stepped out of your masculine frame. Then here's what you do. Try to breathe through the lowest point in your stomach as if you are breathing through your balls. Literally, the place where all your energy comes from. You left your frame all the way over there. Via your breath, you can anchor yourself back into your masculine frame. Another way of anchoring yourself is zooming the fuck out. The more you step out of your frame, the more narrow everything seems to become, right? Your ability to express yourself, ability to think. You've sidetracked yourself, so everything becomes more narrow and tunnel visioned on a certain emotion or certain thing outside of you. So literally zooming out as if you're watching yourself from the fucking moon will create some space some lightness, some distance to everything. And also this will bring you right back into your square box, into your masculine frame. 